Good morning, friends. I would like to read you a story today. Our story today is called The Apple Pie Tree, and it is by Zoe Hall. I really like this book because I like apple trees and to make something that they make at the end. Maybe you can guess what they make at the end by the title. The Apple Pie Tree. Can you guess? The Apple Pie Tree by Zoe Hall? She wrote the story, but Sherry Halpern drew the pictures. Let's begin. The Apple Pie Tree. Maybe this gives you a hint on our story. See? My sister and I have a tree that grows the best part of apple pie. Can you guess what that is? Right here, apples! And every year we watch our tree grow. In winter, our apple tree is brown and bare. Do you see that? We have apple trees in our school garden. We do. But in spring, do you see? Leaves grow on every branch. Look, two robins are building a nest in our tree. Tiny pink flower buds appear on branches and robins chirp loudly, guarding their eggs. Just when the flower buds open, baby robins peek through their eggshells. Look at, now our tree is covered with blossoms and the baby robins begin to grow feathers. Look at them in the corner. Look at when breezes blow, the petals fall to the ground. Mama and Papa Robin ro teach their little robins, little birds, to fly. Some days it, it rains and the wind blows hard and our apple tree is strong and the robins are safe in the branches. Small green apples grow where the blossoms used to be. Soon is summer. The apples get bigger and bigger and the little robins have grown up, but they visit every day. The branches bend low down. They are covered with big, round apples. Looks like other animals like those apples too. Now it is autumn. The apples are red and ready to be picked. We fill our bucket to the brim. Mom and Dad help us peel the apples, cut them up, and pile them into a pie shell. Then we sprinkle cinnamon and sugar over the top. Mom puts the pan in the oven. At last, the pie is cooked and ready to be eaten. Our tree has grown an apple pie. It smells so good. And it tastes delicious. There's nothing as good as an apple pie you grew yourself. This picture showing how the bees help us to get apples because they pollinate. That's pretty cool. And then at the very bottom of this page, right down here, it says you have to make the pie crust and and how you do that and then it tells you you have to put six to eight apples in your pie crust sprinkle it with cinnamon and sugar and then you place another circle of pie crust dough on top and bake it at 400 for 50 degrees for 50 minutes <gasps> that sounds really yummy maybe we should make a pie at our house until next time, have a good day.